Hey everybody, we're live again with Openly Hostile Opinions. This should be our Thanksgiving show, but we're too fucking lazy to do one. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> I completely fucking forgot about we, it. We completely forgot. Oh shit, man. <laughs> I fucking, oops. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, so you'll notice we're, we're a little barren here. Uh, Greg got, uh, he, he smoked too much, uh, too much crack and decided, uh, today was Monday instead of Tuesday. So this is what we got. Yeah, he's off the bus. No, I'm just joking. He's clean. He just, he completely forgot it was Tuesday. Yeah, he fucked up. <laughs> so, uh, he, he said he'll be back next week. What's up, Hell's Fire? How you doing, man? Glad you're back. Yeeper. Uh, so, uh, today's band of the week that, uh, was, uh, Innova. Innova? Innova? Anyway, uh, it's an EDM group. Uh, so you can check them out. They're on Twitter. They're on SoundCloud. So, uh check those guys out or that guy out i really don't know you know how edm is sometimes it's just one dude in a laptop or one dude in a mouse head i, I want to beat <laughs> you up and take your shirt by the way oh yeah isn't that great look at that motherfucker that I, I i love it I five love bucks it. five bucks at target <laughs> all right so I, today's <laughs> yes we have from victory brewing company home victory gro- <laughs> homegrown new american lager Yes, uh, Victory makes good beer. They've been around for a while and everything like that. I- I'm having a feeling this is going to taste pretty plain. I don't know. Um, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and give it a try. Dong dong. It's a lager. Yeah. Um, sort of grapefruity, don't you think? Well, there's a little bit of hop, but I mean, it's it's a lager. It's not like it's a blow your head off. Yeah, it's a different kind of lager. I never really uh, had a lager like this before. Actually, one of the hoppiest lagers I've had, uh, believe it or not. Um, very unusual. I didn't think that's what it was going to taste like. I thought it was going to be more malty. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, it's it's good. It's it's true to the style lager. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say, like, I think of America, like, you know, slamming Budweiser's <laughs> fucking bitches at a strip club. Um, well, well, just because it's a lager doesn't mean it's, a, you know, a fucking <laughs> shitty lager. I know, but the thing is, it says American on it. I don't, I don't, I don't think of a, too much of American when I drink this, it's more of like a European something. I don't know. <laughs> so, so Trump uh, continued with the the tradition and pardoned two turkeys today. I saw that. Oh, really? Yep, they pardoned the turkeys so. to be killed. <laughs> well, no, they they're not getting killed. I know. I don't. I'd never heard of this before. I didn't know the president did this. Are you serious? Yeah. It's been around forever. Yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised. I, I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, there's a thing of turkeys around. He pardons two of them so they don't have to die. Pretty much. Is this for the whole life, or is this just till next year? I think you're looking into this too much. I am. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. They've just been doing it forever. It's it's just supposed to be heartwarming and charming, and of course no. you have to pick it apart because fuck you. <laughs> I just. I don't know, man. Like I'm just thinking. I'm like, those turkeys are some lucky motherfuckers. But is it eternal or eternal, or is it like you know? Well, there's no such thing as an eternal. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like it's sort of like the turkey's Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> you got to win the Hunger Games. Mr. Gobbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Hey, we didn't uh, we didn't give the beer a uh, number rating. Uh, since we're talking about turkeys and uh, turkeys gizzards remind me of vaginas. Um, we, I, I, will re- I think it's really, really good. It's just, it just doesn't really remind me of a lager. So uh, I'm going to give it four out of five uh, vaginas that look like turkey gizzards. All right then. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a sound clip? No, I do not. I no, really should. Why didn't I do that last I year? Know. I should have had. I a thought tur- you did. I swear, I remember you having a turkey call on there. Oh, I could I, be wrong. I'm but looking. I don't, know. I don't see. I don't see any turkey calls. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Trevor. Uh, no, Greg today. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. And uh, what's this? Hellswire says, would you consider turkeys to be one of the the snootiest or snuttiest? Like, are you talking like snooty as in, you know, bitch has her nose so far up in the air she took a shower she drowned kind of snooty? Or <laughs> He spelled it S-N-U-D-D-I-E-S-T. I, I, I don't quite know where we're going. Uh, Jimmy says our scope keeps freezing on us. Is it doing it for anyone else? I hope not. I hope not because it looks pretty smooth on our end. Sorry, Jimmy. Might have to restart the modem. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, if anyone else uh, stream... For you is uh you know getting a little jittery getting a little turkey gizzard uh just let us know um like the snood on top of a turkey's head is a pun it's a pun oh i didn't know it was called that <laughs> just because we live out in the middle of hunting area yeah. doesn't mean we hunt it was just me okay jimmy thanks um 
Yeah, when I think of snood, I think of that old game when the internet first came out. Oh, yeah, out. the snoods. Yeah, I, where you had to line them up and you had to shoot them all and everything like that. Get like three in a row. Right, one of those shareware games that was like easily cracked. Yeah, exactly. It's just like just like WinRAR. Has anybody ever actually purchased a WinRAR license? No, no. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the creator, every once in a while, he'll get a little royalty check from somebody purchasing a license. He's like, they do exist. <laughs> it's like that Eminem commercial where they see Santa. <laughs> right yeah um no but actually speaking of snood there's this really addicting game right now that i downloaded it's called bouncy it's b-o-u-n-z-y i think so if you love app games uh it's fucking addicting i got ashley the neighbor actually addicted to it <laughs> uh it took her off a of candy crush which i'm surprised oh god yeah <laughs> Because uh, I forget what show it was, but someone was telling me they were watching a show and this guy was going on a rant. And he's like, our whole generation of mothers are addicted to Candy Crush. And I can't fucking remember the name of it. I think it was like Stranger Things or something like that. I don't know. Speaking of, speaking of fuck and uh, <laughs> Jimmy Knapp being in here, man, I was watching a little bit of the uh, last McNasty cast. Yeah. Does Bobby know any other words besides fuck? I mean, <laughs> I mean, we try to pepper in the occasional other words. He's from New York, man. That's I why I wish I had an accent. I love those two. They're just everything they say is so much more entertaining. I know, and that's why I wish I had an accent because, like, I don't know. When you're from New York. I went to the fucking grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> yeah, you just didn't it's go to the fucking people got in my goddamn way. Yeah, you just don't go to the grocery store. <laughs> you go to the fucking grocery store. You go to the fucking grocery <laughs> store. Eh? And like and like Australians, like, you know, when they're like, hey, you know, hey, what, what's your name? They're just like, hey, hey, cunt. <laughs> like, it's awesome. That's why I just wish, you know. Jimmy says, nope, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, well, speaking of uh, cuss worthy things today, man. I just got fucking. I got today. I got pulled over, and I had to deal with a deal with a cop for the first time in a couple of years, man. Yeah, me, that, me and Jay both had sort of a rough day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mine was a little different. Mine uh, was. Uh, I was driving home. I, I how about this shit, right? I'm going to help my 86, 87 year old grandmother hook her TV up, right? So I'm driving my car. It's uninspected. I didn't realize it's uninspected because I only drive this thing like once every couple of weeks. Oops, so I like made a wife. mistake. <laughs> uh, so I drive this thing, and a cop pops me for an inspection. I'm like, uh, he, he asked me, do you realize you're out of inspection? I'm like, no, honestly, I didn't. I'm sorry. I, I never drive the thing. Mm -hmm. Well, where are you coming from? I'm like, well, I was helping my 80-some-year-old grandmother with her TV. How nice and now of you, Jay. How nice of you. Now I'm going to, you know, go pick up my children from school. If huh? Greg, it's good that you were helping her, because if Greg was helping her, he probably would have stole it for heroin. <laughs> cop didn't apparently shoot your ass probably because you're white uh yes uh west, white, white privilege at its finest west texas says fat guys lives matter yes yeah sorry jimmy we don't take calls anymore because we weren't doing a very good job with it so yeah we, we suck at it jimmy <laughs> we're, we're not very good at it and our equipment's not really set up properly for it so uh it just wasn't working out for our format you guys do very well with it but it's just not something that we thought worked well yeah. Uh, did you make any sudden movements? I did not. I'm I'm a fat guy. I'm incapable of sudden anything, <laughs> except for sudden diabetes or sudden yeah, heart attack. Unless KFC brings back the double down. <laughs> I can't eat that. It's breaded. <laughs> I forgot you're on a. Yeah, yeah. It was funny last uh, during our Patreon show uh, only. Uh, Greg made prison stromboli. And both of them are on the keto diet, and that means no carbs whatsoever. So, like, after the show, they're walking around, like, lightheaded as fuck. I'm like, yeah, dude, <laughs> like, you can't have carbs because you'll get sick. I See, I was blaming it on the prison wine, but Greg was a little lightheaded, too, and he didn't drink any, so. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Premature ejaculation, most likely, yeah. Well, I will tell you guys, though, if any of you guys haven't uh, become a patron yet, you're going to want to, because that uh, prison stromboli was unbelievably cool looking. <laughs> it was. It looked really good, it tasted really good, and it was shocking. Yeah, it turned out really well, actually. we still, I, I still got pictures of it. We're going to post it on just so you guys can see it, and it was actually really good. I think it's just because it was the first thing I ate that day, besides, you know, vagina. Um but pickles in a stromboli wasn't bad. I got to admit, man, it wasn't pickles really brought the oomph out of the stromboli and I loved it. And he said uh, he said something during the patron only show <sighs> that we're going to end up turning into a t-shirt pretty soon. It says if you ain't cooking with pickles, you ain't cooking with me. <laughs> so, 
Beautiful, beautiful. So that was a that was a fun episode. You guys definitely want to want to do that. Yes, Tuffy, you are on the board of badasses. Would you like a gold star? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say dick or vagina? Uh, quite both. possibly. Bo- both, both hellfire. I like dick and vagina. Anything that drains my balls. <laughs> this studio looks like Jeff's Spicolas fan. fan. <laughs> I don't know. Studio nothing, man. I, I really got to I got it. One of these days, I'm just going to get a wild hair up my ass and turn the camera around. Yeah, you, you guys got to see, see how shitty this fucking room is, dude. Like, all this <laughs> this back here looks kind of okay. Yeah. Especially since Casey went out and splurged with the black uh, the black curtains. Yeah. But, this fucking room looks like Sarah Michelle Geller's fucking butthole. It's it's, it's horrible. <laughs> but anyways. Where, where'd, we, you, where'd you get I'm pretty sure, sure Sarah Michelle Geller has a fine butthole. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. I'd fuck her. <laughs> Smoke filled room. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're hipsters. Yeah, we're right? hipsters. We're we're hip we're hippies or whatever the fuck. Hipsters we vape. Yeah, we're just missing the fucking IPAs and the goddamn fucking flannels. <laughs> I, I don't have a flannel on today because my washing machine's still broken and I still have not washed clothes. Are you serious? It's still broken. Yeah, they got there and the part was they didn't have the part they need in the truck because you know why would you carry that? So all, are we right? doing the arcade thing tomorrow? Um, if you can get a sander and meet me at my house with the parts, then we're doing the sander. <laughs> doing it. Uh, otherwise, we're not gonna be able to. Yeah, because... I have to work tomorrow, anyways. I forgot. Yeah, so why don't we say fuck it then? And nah, we'll, uh, we're gonna have to. Sorry, we'll, everyone. We'll get, we'll we'll resume bar top arcading after. Uh... God, fuck real life, man. I'm so <laughs> sick of it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> real well, life just keeps fucking bending me over. Fucking me in the ass, and I'm tired of it. Oh, look who joined, Greg. I guess Greg isn't making it. <laughs> yeah, he's he's here. He's here in spirit. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone wants him to know, but Roy Don. That, that's Greg. <laughs> Roy Don. Roy Don. Royden. It, it's his. And to embarrass him even more, it's his old Final Fantasy screen name. <laughs> Final Fantasy Eleven. Has anyone told you you resemble resemble Dahmer? He who, does kind of have a Dahmery look, doesn't he? Who me? Yeah, you. Do I? Yes. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Speaking of that, Charles Manson died. But we'll get back to that. We got off track with Jay's story. Um, No, that was the story. It just sucked. Like, how are you going to pull over a guy who... Uh, oh, you didn't talk about the kid thing, though. Well, uh, well, yeah. So, I uh, was on my way to go get my kids from school. And these guys were taking forever. Like, come on. Just give me the fucking citation already. Like, I was, I was about ready if I wasn't afraid that they would shoot my ass. I was about ready to get out of the car, walk out with my hands up in the air, knock on the window and go, dude, you can literally follow me to my house, but I need to go. <laughs> and like, I will sit here and do anything you need me to do, but we need to go. They want to shot you. You're white, remember? <laughs> and he didn't steal, steal any Skittles. <laughs> Trayvon Martin! Oh, my God. Stop that. Yeah, I can't help it. Stop it. Uh, didn't Dahmer get his head bashed in during his prison sentence? I don't know. I have no I idea. I really have no idea. I just know he killed people, so I thought that was cool. Um, he ate people. He started an all boys choir. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Did he cover eat it? <laughs> uh, Hell's Fire says no. J Sing uh, thirteen just joined. Mm. Oh well, maybe I will. <laughs> hey, uh, all right, there we go. Deadly sinners, <laughs> deadly sinners. And then there's the other guy there who had no purpose in the band, just going. <laughs> Oh man, he, he's not in that bad. Well, the was whole that three inches of blood? Yeah, three inches of blood. I oh, love man. them. Every time I thought of them, I thought of periods. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know what it is? Three inches of blood means uh, it, three inches is the minimum amount of of liquid that you can drown in. Uh-huh. So they figured, why couldn't that liquid be blood? So there you go. It's the most metal thing. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the most metal things, man, I'm gonna plug them again because they're fucking awesome. You guys should check out. Uh, uh, gimme radio.com actually if you want to see uh, King Diamond Hell's Fire they play that on there it's gimme radio.com I'll type it in the chat here so you know how to spell it but uh, I love these guys I've been listening to this shit non-stop uh, it's great they they do a whole bunch of shows Randy Blythe from uh, Lamb of God's one of the DJs Dave Mustaine uh, I'm gonna butcher his name because it's not English. Johan <laughs> Johan Heg from Amon Marth is uh, one of the DJs. Uh, uh, John Brookhouse uh, is a DJ. Um, uh, the guy who plays drums for Death Angel. Uh, he he's he's a DJ. I mean, it's amazing. Hey, Mr. DJ, what's that music you play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, if you're into metal, you guys have to check it out. Macabre, an old metal band. Yes. 
Yes, it is. Yeah, speaking of uh, Jay's little story uh, about being stuck, uh, so he texts me because his kids get off the school bus. And, um, you know, he was like, I'm worried, you know, I got to get there. There has to be an adult there when they get off the bus. Can you do it? I'm like, I'm stuck in a fucking goddamn AT&T store. I went to AT&T today with Ashley, the neighbor, okay, to get a new phone. That churned in from 2 o'clock. We finally got out at 645. We were there for 4 hours and 45 minutes. It took so long. We actually took a smoke break with the guy, (laughs) with the guy that was ringing us out. And it's just like, I, I, he was like, you know, we were just going to get her daughter a phone. That turned into, oh, well, you know, Ashley, you can get a phone with this. And then it turned into, do you want direct TV? Uh, this comes, this case comes with this. Do you want to donate the cancer research? It was so fucking exhausting standing there for four fucking hours, man. I was about to fucking, like, I just wanted to rip out every lady's butthole there and swing it around like a fucking battle flag and just kill everybody. <laughs> it was it was insane. Like, has anyone else been to the AT T store? Can you can you relate to this? Can because <laughs> I've I don't have AT and T. We have Verizon. Do you have Verizon? Uh, kind of. So that's a, another story. <laughs> uh, You're like shh. <laughs> West, West Texas says, uh, "Damn, Manson spent less time incarcerated than you spent in AT and T." You know what the fuck did it? Yeah, Manson's uh, in prison and all for all these murder charges and shit. Dude never killed anybody, supposedly. Yeah, I, I guess it's under like, um, not I forget what they called it, but he he, he sort of like brainwashed, he manipulated. Yeah, he manipulated it, yeah. people into killing each other. Because um, Hell's Fire says, "Yeah, AT and T is a pain in the ass." I have T Mobile, so no. Yeah, dude. I just four four hours and forty five minutes, dude, trying to get a fucking phone. It was it was awful. It was so fucking horrible. And finally, because they have like phones there, I learned German. <laughs> like there was this German out there, and I was learning German and Portuguese. I forget <laughs> it now. But and then there was this actually like really cool app where you had to connect these dots, but you couldn't overlap. And it was actually really cool in it and made most of the time. But I texted Jay and I was like, dude, show up a little late because I'm not home yet. We just got out of the AT and T store. And like, oh, just, oh, Casey didn't get the phone. It was Ashley. Casey was just there because reasons. Yeah, yeah, moral, I, moral support. I, yeah. I was just there because I was bored. I wasn't really doing anything today. And Ashley's like, "Will you go to the store with me?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." And I didn't know it would turn into a fucking Game of Thrones season. <laughs> Jesus. And and I'm sitting there because I can't stand standing in that store anymore because all these fucking hipster faggots are sucking each other's dicks. And I'm sitting there on this bench and all of a sudden I hear this, ho, ho, ho. And I'm like, what the fuck? Santa was right behind me. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, it was a horrible day. (laughs) You put a swastika on your head and you automatically become a threat to society. That's true. You well, do. you know, uh, a, a stupid ancient symbol that people have bastardized doesn't kill people. Husbands who come home early kill people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lorena Bobbitt story. God, that was such a big deal. <laughs> Lorena Bobbitt. You, you know what? I always picture there was probably two cops on the side of the road. Like, man, I ain't touching that. <laughs> and it sucks that Manson died, too, because he just got married like a month ago, I think it was. It was either a month or two ago. That it was all news that he was getting married. See, look what happens. Marriage will even kill Charles Manson. <laughs> this is why you don't get married, folks. It will oh it will God. fucking kill you. <laughs> uh, Hell's Fire writes, Manson wrote songs that some bands used, right? I don't know if he wrote any of the... Uh, no, he did not write Helter Skelter. Uh, that was all, uh, that was all uh, Paul McCartney. Paul uh, McCartney. But anyway, uh, he wrote some songs, and uh, supposedly he was a fairly good songwriter. But I don't know if any bands actually used them. I know who he Charles was, Manson was. Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. Um, apparently, I think he submitted a bunch of them to Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys, but I have no idea if he ever ended up using them. Mm. Uh, no, Helter Skelter was uh, was Paul McCartney. Hey, I got another little interesting tidbit about Beatles songs. You know, uh, I am the Walrus. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Lennon wrote that song uh, because. Uh, he had heard that some schools were analyzing Be- Beatles lyrics uh, for whatever reason, for psychological training or whatever, those kind of things. So they were analyzing the lyrics. So he decided, well, let him analyze this. <laughs> That's so fucking ridiculous. Because, you know, John Lennon was just that guy. <laughs> oh, what a fuck. No wonder he got shot. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but speaking of the Charles Manson thing, uh, 
I guess when this happened, Twitter got confused because Twitter's just filled with a bunch of... Not Twitter, of, idiots on yeah, Twitter. Um, got confused a little bit and thought that actually Marilyn Manson died. <laughs> so they were, you know, tweeting about Manson and they thought his first name was Charles too. So they were like, we're sorry, Charles Manson. You were such a good guy, blah, blah, blah. We loved your music. And I guess now, since Charles Manson wrote music, it makes more sense now. Because people would get confused. They'd be like, oh, he did write music. You know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, I guess uh, Manson made the, the, the news two weeks in a row, man, pointing ARs at people. <laughs> and now he thinks he's dead. <laughs> West Texas says, what the fuck? I thought he was singing I Am The Walnut. <laughs> uh, lyrics websites exist. <laughs> no, it's I Am The Walrus. I Am The Walnut. Crack, 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 crack. <laughs> Walnuts are hard to crack. I Am The Eggman. I am the Eggman. I am the walrus. <laughs> Cuckoo, kachoo. Kill, kill, a Jew. Uh, <laughs> probably get banned on iTunes for saying that. But, um. Oh, another. Save that shit for the patron, too. Yeah. Another thing, speaking of, um, uh, Twitter, we don't really like talking about politics, but we thought we'd bring this up. Yeah, this uh, is funny. Uh, so Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton were having a, uh, meeting, I guess, with people just answering questions and everything like that. And I guess Hillary was bragging how good of a president Bill was. And uh, one of the underlining uh, things was she was like, well, when Bill was president, he knew how to keep off Twitter. When And the funny thing is, is she was dead serious. Twitter wasn't around when Bill Clinton was president. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just so funny. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the best thing that Hillary Clinton could do at this point is just stop appearing in public. I know, like, uh, like I, go away. Like, I know she was signing her books at Costco and shit. That's cool, whatever. But just uh, you're embarrassing yourself. Just for. go away. <laughs> um, uh, Trump showing us that the other presidents were nuts, acting like we were working, like they were working. Um. Huh? <laughs> the only thing nuts right now with Trump is Trump. <laughs> but uh Hey, yeah. he pardoned two turkeys. Gobble gobble. <laughs> Which I never did. Gobble knew gobble. I'm gonna like look into this now. <laughs> I wanna know You've really it. never heard of that. No, I never heard of it. What's up, fuckers? What's up, Greg? You bitch. It's you Tuesday. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, do I have to do I have to fucking call you to remind you? <laughs> Jeez. Greg needs to set an alarm. You Duffy better... Duffy is upset, Greg. Yeah. He's upset that you're not here. Uh Greg, if you're doing drugs, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Speak speaking of people who can't be here at the moment, I wanted to give a shout out to Cyanide. She uh Cricket. I uh, she's still Herp. she's still cricket to me. Anyway, uh Cricket uh, sent us a little message letting us know that she's uh, she's doing well. So all you guys who are concerned, she's she's doing good. So um, she she is going to be catching up as soon as possible. She's been missing some of the shows, but she's going to get there. <laughs> oh God, West, West Texas. Here we like, go. I got Mexicans to feed. <laughs> oh, here we go. Trump isn't doing that bad. If the Democrats would help rather than sabotage. Democrats. I've never heard oh, of that before. Oh God. Here we go. <laughs> this is why we don't do politics. I know. And that's Let it thing. go. And that's the thing. The funny thing was, is it wasn't really Hellfire. Like, Let it go. <laughs> it wasn't really that much about politics. It was just funny. <laughs> it is funny, but I'm, I'm going to tell you this seriously. Though the best thing, regardless. of of who you want to talk about or support. The best thing that uh, Hillary Clinton could do at this point is just disappear. Yeah. Go away. Go to your little house in the woods and plant your garden or <laughs> whatever it is that old women who are cheated on by their men do. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Oh, my God. Have you seen Bill Clinton lately? He looks like a fucking disease. Uh, Ted Hinsky. Uh, Ted, I have no idea how to say your name, dude. Uh, <laughs> wants to know what camera you guys are using. I uh, a Logitech six ten something or a seven. Yeah, it's a Logitech. Um, shit, I fucking forget the name of it. Actually, the box is like right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're stuck here. No, I think it's a Logitech uh, C nine or something. It's called. Um, it's the cheapest one out there with the best quality in our It's opinion. like 60 bucks. It's yeah. uh they have uh, uh they oh god, Hillary Clinton. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we sh we no, should we should him. <laughs> no, it was not a free camera, uh Roy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we fucking dude, we're poor as shit, Greg. Like what do you think this is? 
<laughs> uh, that was me that asked you that, the assholes. Uh, oh, okay. So we have a bot in here. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. I missed it. Sorry. Yeah, because yeah, he says bot. I got Mexicans to feed too. <laughs> no, sorry. Sometimes we missed it. No, it's a uh, Logitech uh, C610, I want to say. Uh, any, anyway, yeah, it's not a bad camera. It's it's not bad. It's a webcam. Oh, but we have it mounted on an actual tripod and shit. It doesn't do a bad job, really. Um, yeah, we actually we used to. Um, you should have seen some of our old equipment, yeah, dude. It's it's been bad. <laughs> we, we used a twenty five dollar uh, knockoff GoPro. That one we lasted for about a week. Uh, we used a Galaxy S four camera, which had great quality, but was a bitch to getting it into like the computer. Uh, and we could never use it as. Uh, like a webcam, yeah. not not well anyway. Yeah, we should thank that. Let's give a round of applause for that bot for asking Jimmy's question. <laughs> like, we're sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> I, would, I would hit the applause button. I can't find it. There we go. Um, it was a bot being useful. We missed Jimmy's question. The bot helped us. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that shit anyway. Why do they just re repost shit somebody already said? Um, you guys are twisted like me. I think I found my new home. This must ha be how Manson felt. You know what? You like it here. You know, uh, first off, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. We, uh, we love new viewers. Um, yeah. we do this every Tuesday, man. I didn't think we really said anything twisted, but oh, that's, thank you. That's just who we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Also, my, my favorite, uh, lyric in any song in the world is, is uh from suicidal tendency is it you think i'm crazy you wouldn't know crazy if charlie manson was sitting on your front porch eating fruit loops <laughs> fruit loops <laughs> jesus christ because uh suicidal tendencies kicks ass yeah uh like we were talking about the camera thing like that like we used to use a cell phone and it just got awful it was oh god my god awful. you should have seen this little metal this metal webcam we had for a while yeah oh it was it and, was bad and since we do an hour show his camera would only go to 45 minutes oh, so yeah. i had to like split the fucking videos together it we're on youtube so if you want to watch older episodes of us just don't watch the first episode. It's god awful. <laughs> or the first like ten. Just yeah. skip all those. We're on episode sixty right now, actually. Oh my god, that means we've been doing this over a year. Yeah, and, and like Jay, Jay said, and I completely fucking forgot this was supposed to be our Thanksgiving. I like I like doing specials too. I'm sort of pissed. You know what? We haven't <laughs> done a special in a while. We really need to get our asses together and do a well, proper. Special. Yeah, well, Christmas is you coming know, up. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do an actual Christmas special because you know what. Uh, life has been getting in the way big time for all of the holy fuck cyanide here. Woo, yeah, Cy. Woo. All right. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. Life's been kind of getting in the way for us lately, and this just has become something we do. <laughs> we did that last week. He says, "Oh, the Halloween special." Kind of, sort of. We did. Uh, we did a special. I cooked. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. That wasn't a a special like we. Uh, Damn it, Roy, you watched the show. <laughs> he so was a part of it, damn it. And I'm telling you, Greg, those pickles did make the fucking strobole. I'll tell you what. We're, well, glad, we're glad you're here, Cy. We're uh, unfortunately, here. You, you you missed our new third host because he was an idiot and thought it was Monday. <laughs> yeah, so Greg's not here right now. Yeah, if you see Royden in the chat, that would be uh, that would be our third host that decided to punk out on us today. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. He, he normally occupies this, this, this vacant area in between the two of us. Yeah, but he'll never, uh, you know, fill the vacant of his heart. So, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, the bot says, I cooked, damn it! <laughs> oh, God, we got another fucking... Another bot in here. Oh, I'll block him. Hang on. Uh, Sai is so evilly sexy. I want to be spanked by you. Okay. <laughs> West Texas, get right into it. <laughs> uh, yes, Sai, there is a new guy. Um, he's in chat, actually, right now. His name's Royden. Um, he is an ex-heroin addict. Uh, just got out of jail, and he's a dear friend of ours, so we thought it'd be fun to bring him on the show and talk about how he fucked his life up. <laughs> it's always fun. Where's the towel? Um, I had to take it down because I put up a bunch of black stuff. I'm not racist. You know. Uh, <laughs> and I, we just, uh, since our 52nd episode, we thought it was a new year, so we wanted to change the look a little bit, and uh, we still don't know what we're doing. Nobody said X. What are you getting X from, Roy? What does he mean, X? No, I, I said our third host, not our X host. No. No. Oh. Greg, don't get all emotional. Don't get all offended. <laughs> you're 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 on the show now. You just decided to punk out on us. <laughs> yeah, they do say some funny shit, West Tex. I like your name, by the way, West Texas. West Texas, eight oh six. 
I just every time I think about Texas, I just think about shooting shotguns in the air for no reason. I always think of King of the Hill. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. love King of the Hill. I, I imagine all of them are. Uh, Oh, X X heroin. Oh, Sorry, X-Hero. Greg. Okay. He no he no longer injects needles into his arm. <laughs> no, he just drinks caffeine more than anybody ever should. Yeah, like he first time I met him since he's been out, he's walking around my room here in circles, you know, chewing, and then he goes out and smokes a cigarette and he's like slamming coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you get a chance to, I think about bestiality. Well, that's um. You'd fit in here, man. Man, you're you're good. You're yeah, good for you. You'd fit in around here, man. Two people got caught having sex with animals around where I live. So, <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, you know about that. Which ones? Remember, I talk about it all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the one guy mind. got caught fucking cows, and the other guy got fucking a sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Actually, remember. I saw the guy uh, filling up his uh, gas the other day. The one that was fucking sheep, and I just, I just fucking laugh. I just wanted to go up and be like, are you bashful? <laughs> uh, can I just say internet sex? Jay, fix our internet. I cannot give Greg a hard time on Facebook without this freezing. Um, reboot the modem. That's the best I can tell you. Reboot anyway. the modem. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we are glad to see you, Cy. I was really, really happy to hear you reach out to us and uh, let us know you're still breathing. Yeah. We were concerned. Well, I got a jet. Can't hear right now. Much love, guys. Happy holidays. You too. If we don't talk to you, Cy, Merry Christmas. Enjoy uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, you you better you better keep popping in. We miss you. You guys live in the woods. Can't fix woods. Yeah, you can't. This is true. You can't you can't take the redneck I can, out of people. Oh, you can fix some woods. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You know, you can use spackle. Spackle. <laughs> you know, liquid nails. Yeah, liquid nails. That reminds me. Uh, I hopefully my coal stoves uh, fix soon. Because I'm heating my house with two electric heaters. Oh my god, it, your electric! And bill. My, it is running my electric bill to the fucking roof, dude. So I am selling my body. Uh, <laughs> so if anyone is interested, I will eat any hole in your body. Um, period blood is more. Um, <laughs> animals is more, and um, yeah, kids are optional. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Oh, uh, uh-huh. there we go. <laughs> what are I'm you like, doing? I'm getting comfortable. What do you mean you're getting, getting comfortable? comfortable. This you is... already sit in a really nice chair. It's broke because I broke yeah, it. Yeah, you broke it. You <laughs> broke my chair, you motherfucker. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I'm getting comfy. There we go. I'm going to lean man. back a little bit. Yeah. Someone get over here and give him a hand job. I mean a massage. <laughs> Amanda, come on. I need I need you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I never tried this before. I didn't realize this chair leaned back this you, far. You feeling tired today? No, I'm not. I'm just feeling comfy. 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 Did you smoke a joint today? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a nice blanket right now. I'll be good uh, to go. Looks like you smoked a joint or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. This is getting awkward. Oh, w- w- <laughs> when did it not get awkward, Greg? Yeah, you've you've sat between us. What's the difference? <laughs> he's act. He's waiting for a lap dance, man. Act like yeah, it's off camera, man. That's Mo. It that ain't free. That shit ain't free. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda says no. Period. <laughs> Casey needs some. Ca- I do, man. I fucking. I've been sick. I uh. I was on vacation this month, man. I'm low on the dough flow, man. Please I'm- say you're wearing pants. That is only for me to know. Yeah. See, that's why we have this table here, so you can't see if we're wearing pants or not. <laughs> we're like those creepy dudes that go to the strip club and wear sweatpants, so we can, you know, really feel the daddy issue vagina. I'm fat. I wear sweatpants all the time. <laughs> I, I, I don't like sweatpants. jeans. I love sweatpants. Fuck I actually, jeans. I have a really nice pair of like flannel. Oh man, Steel Steel Man, haven't seen you in a while. I'm buddy. offended. How do you do? You're in the wrong fucking place <laughs> if you're offended. I haven't seen you in a while, Steel Man. How have you been, man? You used to come in every once in a while. Uh, <sighs> glad you're uh, glad you're alive and well. Uh, I think you did like the Steelers. I think that's how I. Uh, yeah, stretchy pants. Stretchy pants. Yeah, dude, they need an equivalent of yoga pants for guys. Like, uh, yo- no, I don't mean that everybody needs to see all of our crevices and creases, but I just mean. Uh, that kind of socially acceptable loungewear. Yeah. You know what it is? You know what p- pisses me the fuck off? And Jay's on a rant. <laughs> you know what pisses me the fuck off? I I was I spent a little time working in a hospital a while back, you know, and I, I took notice of the fact that women's uh, business casual wear can basically be a T-shirt. Yeah. They really are. Or, or, or stretchy, like, stretch pants, you know? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Like, you can literally wear stuff that's super comfortable. Guys have to wear those ridiculous-ass dockers, a button-down shirt, and a fucking maybe a tie. Like, <laughs> fuck that. You had to wear a tie when you worked at the hospital? 
No, no, uh, no, no. Well, when I worked, you're as, just talking about in general. When I worked as a unit clerk for a while, <laughs> unit, I had sorry, to. Wear, that sounds funny. <laughs> I'm a unit clerk. <laughs> I worked as a unit clerk for a little bit. I had to wear uh, slacks and a button-down shirt, and then I had to wear this like overcoat thing. Uh, going to the Steelers game on Sunday, eating Packers for dinner. Yeah, uh, pa- represent that black and gold. Yeah, Packers are gonna suck, suck anyways, because Aaron Rodgers is gone. So, <laughs> uh, Jay's wife, my wife asks, "Why are you complaining?" I said, "Because I think that we should be allowed to wear some comfortable shit and still be considered business casual. Like, I think we need some like sweat pant dockers." <laughs> Can I get some sweatpant hey dockers? Man, you can always get those t-shirts with the fake tuxedo on them that are printed right onto them. You can just do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I want some I want some motherfucking sweatpant dockers. You know how they have sweatpant uh, jeans for women? Oh, yeah, yeah. I want those for me. Yeah, aren't they called something? There's a special name for them. Uh, Jaggins? Jaggins. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's what they're called. Yeah, that's what uh. my... Yeah, I want those swalkers. <laughs> that is fucking great. I want some swalkers. <laughs> That's a good one, West Texas. You should you should trademark that. <laughs> That's funny though. Your wife's like, "Why are you bitching, Jay?" <laughs> it's like That's I'm what I do. Head. That's what this show's about. It's an hour husband. and a half. Admit it, you want to wear pajamas. Fuck Dude, yes. Fuck yeah, man. If I could get away with wearing pajamas <sighs> at all times, I would. Yeah, the, see, and one of my favorite things in the world is when it's a cold fucking night out, you make some hot chocolate, you get your PJs or a onesie, whatever your thing with the butt flap, <laughs> and you get um, your onesies or your pajamas and your fresh sheets and fresh blankets out of the dryer. Ugh. It's like one of the greatest feelings I'm in just, the world. I'm just picturing like some fucking Barry White playing in the Oh, back. dude. Damn. I fucking, I never beat my dick so hard in my life, dude. Like blood squirting out. <laughs> um, it's like 50, ah! It's like 15 minutes after I came and I'm Gross. just still going, dude. Shit like, ugh. It fucking sounds like sandpaper on drywall. <laughs> and I'm JCP just going. says keep that front flap closed. <laughs> That's, yeah, the, the front flap. <laughs> West Jim. Texas is dude you just made me call <laughs> uh, Steelers man ever wear pantyhose come on be truthful not that I'm aware of yeah the f- the front flap is only when I go to the schoolyard so I always keep that close Look. you didn't answer the question what, what, what was the question did you ever wear pantyhose fuck no actually yeah I did I think when I was younger because I dressed up like a girl for Halloween <laughs> all right see there, there's your answer I don't recall ever doing um, it um I, I just remember pantyhose being really cold Cold? Yeah, because like air goes through them so, like easily. It just and I remember my, it making my legs cold. Like, and I don't know if J- any was you ladies... it just because you were wearing a skirt that it was cold? No, or did the, my it fucking my giblets weren't cold. Um, it's just my legs were for some reason. I don't know, if ladies... ladies in the audience. Yeah, do you, you do you have, feel that. like explaining this to us? Because I don't under kilts are cold. Oh, yeah, well, yes, of course. I, I bet kilts are cold as shit you know speaking of kilts i, I want to say something i was watching uh i wore some yoga pants and had a big bulge but it was in the back <laughs> ew reminds uh, me of ace ventura where he's caesar <laughs> right uh i was watching uh braveheart the other day uh i love yeah, i love that movie but you know it always drives me nuts about braveheart is is uh it's depicting the battle of sterling bridge but there's no fucking bridge in it I know. I don't get that either. <laughs> I, it is literally the one of the most famous battles in that time period, the Battle of Sterling Bridge, uh, where William Wallace defeated the English. <laughs> There's no fucking bridge. I still remember. I still, Why? I still fucking love that movie though. When they kill his fucking wife and he's just walking with his hands back, and that guy grabs the horse and he just takes that fucking antler and shoves it in his neck. I got, I got, I, I, I'm fucking horny now. <laughs> I love blood and violence in a movie, and like Braveheart is just, ugh. I it love was 22 it. hours long. I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good movie though. Oh, I love, I love Mel movie. Gibson mostly because of Mad Max. Oh yeah, I'm such Great a, movies. I am a Mad Max freak. Casey can attest to this. Like oh, the, yeah. the last movie, he never goes to movie theaters, and he was like, "Dude, do you want to go to the movies to see Mad Max?" I was like. <gasps> I was like, are you feeling okay? Casey goes to the movies like once every like month or so just for something to do. Yeah, something to do. By himself because he's sad and lonely. Yeah, I am. I'm a sad, lonely individual. But uh, yeah, I I, I reserve my – because I pirate shit like a motherfucker, and I'll be the first to admit it. 
I I reserve my actual movie going experience to for for movies I really want to see mm-hmm. because the other ones to be honest with you I wouldn't go see them anyway. Yeah, it was like I wait till they came out on TV. Mm-hmm. You know, Forrest Gump gets my boxers wet. Oh, dude, Forrest Gump gets me drenched. Like I love that fucking movie. And in, in my personal ex- or in my personal opinion, Forrest Gump is is my definition of a perfect movie. And you know, it's debatable, but he and Jenny was like a <laughs> stupid guy and a whore. Jenny was a whore. Actually, probably my idea of a perfect oh, movie. We got another fucking bot. Hang on. Do we? Um, is a uh, Silver Linings Playbook. And if anyone has ever seen it, you wouldn't think that's a movie I would like. But I actually really like movies like that, and I thought it was the like perfect movie. I walked out of the the, the movie theater when I saw it, and I felt like I was leaving my friends' pro- like my friends' problems. It was crazy. <laughs> uh, Steelman says Blues Brothers, dude. I I'm right there with oh, you, dude. Blues Brothers is is not a movie to me. It was a life experience. Yeah, dude. That church I can scene. quote every mo- every <laughs> word from that movie. And and fucking what's her name's in it? Um. God damn it, Carrie Fisher's in. Carrie Fisher's in. Um, that church scene where the light shines on him and he just goes nuts. I oh love my God. that part. It's so funny. My my <laughs> absolute favorite line of that whole thing is, is uh it's 122 miles. We got a half a half a tank of gas. Or a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark out, and we're wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Hit it! <laughs> I, I love Evan. Heartbreak Ridge, that was a really good movie. It was, it was all right. I thought that was a really was good right. movie. I, I also like it in Blues Brothers, though, where he's trying to annoy that guy's uh, rest, uh, customers because he wants them to join the band, the guy that's, you know, uh, running the place. God. And he's, He's just bothering everyone. He's like, can I have a whole chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Four fried chickens in a Coke. <laughs> yeah. What kind of chicken do you want, honey? Chicken legs or chicken uh, chicken wings? Four fried chickens <laughs> and a Coke. And he's like taking fucking bread off of people. And then the then the classic mall scene where they're just fucking driving through the mall. Oh, the God. Place. The sad part is he, he, goes, he goes, Jake Elwood. <laughs> That's Cab Calloway. I, I, all you had to do was put that. And I knew. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Got to go visit the penguin. Yeah. I don't want to visit the penguin. We got to go visit the penguin. Oh, man. That's such a great movie. I got to watch that, too, man. Because I've been finding myself that newer movies are really shitty. So, I like, I like once a year, I watch Robocop. Because it's like, I, I talk about that a lot. How that's just my favorite yeah. movie of Robo- all time. Robocop's good. I, I just love it. Um, but uh, I want to go back to Blues Brothers. That movie's so yeah, good. That movie is good. I was just talking to my friend the other day about the the latest Rambo that came out. I think like eight years ago or something. Yeah, yeah. I How liked it. fucking violent it oh, was. Oh my god, I loved it though. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, and they had to water it down because it was like too much killing, and it there, was still a violent movie. Um, let me just clarify this first: is saying uh, I think Sylvester Stallone as a human being is a piece of filthy scum. But as far he as is, his my brother movies, met him. oh my god, he's he's a piece of scum. Ever he's he's a jackass. He's mean to people. Uh, but anyway, the man makes fantastic films. Oh yeah, like if you watch First Blood and that that uh, ending monologue doesn't mm-hmm. have you at least feeling a little bit right here. Yeah, exactly. You're not even a human. Where he's standing there, where he's sitting there, and he's bawling his eyes out, and he's like, "My friend's legs got blown off. They died." And he's like, "And then what makes it worse is I come home and I think I'm fighting for these people, and they're spitting." on me and i'm just like oh man what do you want heart. what do you want john i just want my country to love me <laughs> as much as i love it dude i think like, <laughs> i'm right there with you john rambo and, and that's the thing i believe in you man the first rambo was was an action movie but it was more of like a drama oh, it, it was a thriller i would go yeah with. and then and then the next three just fucking straight out 80s just you know you're shooting over here and people are falling <laughs> like on that side. But you know the thing about First Blood though was it was such there was no you like you're pulling for John Rambo but the fact of the matter is he was a piece of shit too that like everybody was wrong. And then you got Brian Dennehy whose face is just good enough to punch. That's the yeah. only thing he exists for. And and that's the funny thing is like you yep, know they drew First Blood not if, me. If if you think cops never harass white people, watch the first Rambo. Well, like I said, Brian <laughs> Dennehy just has that face you want to hit him. He does. He has that face where it's sort of scrunched a little bit to where you're like, "What you had?" <laughs> Fuck you, Brian Dennehy. Yeah. Fuck you and your whole fucking police force. Um, I saw someone mention Blazing Saddles. I love that movie, but I think my favorite Mel Brooks movie is Robin Hood Men in Tights. I love that movie so much. I watched it. I watched it so much when I was younger. I used to ruin my VH type of it. 
tapes of it. I went through like three of them. Well, anything with Carrie Elways before he decided to play a bunch of bitch <laughs> bitch roles. And, and the funny thing is, is I was babysitting my friend's house. Uh, I'd say about a month or two ago, and um, it came on. And I still knew every fucking line, oh, and yeah. I was just like, "Oh, I miss this." Oh my movie. god, yeah, Mel Brooks like, is, a, is a fucking genius. Like my too. favorite part is where they're going to the 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 hideout, not the hideout. Yeah, Robin Hood's hideout, and the blind guy blinking, blinking, is in the watchtower, <laughs> and he goes, "Blinking, what are you doing in a watchtower?" And he's like guessing no one's coming and it's just so funny to me like why would you put a blind guy in a fucking watchtower because it's funny i just say cracks me up okay we got some we got even better guys you gotta stop at these great comments my dick can only get so hard (laughs) i mean we got west texas here i thought first blood was uh about my little sister's period uh we got steel man saying We got Steel Man saying Life of Brian. He's not the Messiah. He's a bad boy. Of course, Life of Brian. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to look on the brighter side of life. Yeah, you just got to. You got to look on the brighter side of life. Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail. All these movies are brilliant. Yeah, All of them. I love them. Um, and, and it sort of upsets me because I guess when I was younger, ro- things like Robin Hood Men in Tights, they were called just parry movies. I don't know if that's what everyone else called them but i i called them parody movies and it feels like they don't really make them anymore and they, no, were, they do but they suck yeah they suck like the scary movie ones were those were good. the the first like three were good yeah. after like scary movie movie 173 yeah they could have probably calmed that down uh, a little but they bit. just don't make them anymore um i would say uh the only other one that i really like is not another teen movie if you guys have never seen that watch that it's fucking hilarious um is if anyone has seen Cruel Attentions, it's about this guy Mm-mm. that um, he wants to fuck this sort of like nerdy girl or whatever, and his stepsister is going to help him. But if he succeeds, he has to fuck his stepsister, and this not another. And it has Sarah, Sarah Michelle Gellar yeah, in yeah. it. Yeah. Speaking of her, anyway, Beverly uh, Hills Cop, The uh, Shining, Three Amigos. My God, people! <laughs> I can only, I can only, dude. I'm the. You know what? Uh, I am a complete movie freak. For those of you who don't know, I ran a website for a while called uh, Theaterverse.com. I gave up on that. <laughs> Rocky shit. 27 was awesome. When he <laughs> battled <laughs> <died. laughs> He punched that shit into submission. Uh, uh, dog, uh, how do you know how I got to die, baby? Insulin! Oh. <laughs> Insulin! But uh, what I was saying about another another teen movie is is they were making fun of that in a part, and um, she goes up to her real brother because it's it's the real brother in this, and she goes, "I just wish one time my brother would fuck me in the ass." And he goes, "But we're related." And she like rubs his lips and goes, "Only by blood." <laughs> <laughs> I just love shit like that. It's so funny. <laughs> but we're, but what were you saying? Oh my god! I'm just we, we got a little sidetracked. <laughs> I, I'm just saying movies. I don't know. Good job, you broke the fucking audio. Yeah, that's what Jay. Oh, I did scream. I screamed too loud, and I fucking clipped it. <laughs> Our board can only handle so much. Uh, yeah, we have a stretch goal here. I didn't put it on Patreon yet, but uh, our next goal is to get a digital interface, which should be nicer than this board but uh that's down the road that's the next major equipment purchase we need to make since our computer's back up and running again uh you you lovely patrons out there we appreciate you because you made it possible for us to buy a new motherboard yeah which is why we're bringing all these shenanigans yeah because we um we have we, we haven't been making any money except patreons um and like the f- fucked up thing is yeah, we don't make anything off advertising and yeah shit. like we don't make anything off of youtube everything's from patreon so like uh thank- we are on top buzz now though and we get paid yeah. okay like we made 33 cents Ooh, but we make more uh, we made nothing on youtube so 33 cents is something yeah. see you steel man happy thanksgiving to youtube man. yeah we appreciate you man hope see you later. kill a bunch of indians um yeah so thanks again to all your patreons and everything you actually because I hated that old computer. Ugh. And now we got the beast running it again, so <laughs> I can read the chat now and everything. Duffy says, Roy, I'm going to fuck your ass. <laughs> uh, Roy says, when? I'm free tomorrow. Jesus Christ. Patty Commotion joined. Hello, Patty Commotion. Oh, we got another fucking bot. Sick of these bots. Go away. No one likes you. We've all seen Terminator. We know how I it already, turns out. I already reported that one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. I'm actually logged into our account instead of my personal one for a change. Oh, nice. I still got to create a personal account. Um, I've actually been thinking, you know, creating a personal account and just getting on some nights. It'd probably be really late at night because I can't sleep because I have extreme insomnia. 
But uh, yeah, if any of you guys are up late at night, I think I'm gonna start just streaming, talking to you guys. Cause doing the show and everything, like we we cover stuff, but I can't really pay attention. Yeah, just to do it. just do it on our Periscope, dude. Do the Casey show. The Casey show. Do the Casey show. I I might do the J show. The J show. The J <laughs> show. The Casey show. We'll make our own brand. Yeah, we'll be our own brands. Fucking. Brand. Anyway, um, yeah, we definitely want to get back to our bar top arcade build, but because fucking life sucks, I'm not gonna be able to do that tomorrow. <laughs> you sound like me. Life sucks. Well, I it's like they always fucking schedule this shit on a Wednesday, and my my clothes, my dirty clothes pile is it. it I, I could I could hide my children in it. <laughs> I need my clothes. Like I. Uh, okay, dude, Eddie Murphy's Raw. Yes, absolutely, Eddie Murphy's Raw. That shit would no, never go nowadays, though. <laughs> he, like, made fun of so many things that oh, you can't yeah. make fun of now. Oh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so my, my, my dirty laundry pile is, like, stretching to the ceiling at this point. I had to have my mommy wash my laundry for <laughs> me mommy. yesterday. Hey, that's what moms are for. They're In not fact, over- my, my sweatshirt right here, there's a stain on it. You know why? Because <laughs> I can't wash my fucking clothes. No, that's not why. It's because Jay can't stop jerking off, but... Uh, <laughs> I say that, and then, and then Greg says the sock, Jay, the sock. But yeah, I, that would bother me. I thought. Oh yeah, the the sock. <laughs> um, I don't know if I ever told that story. Did I ever tell the story? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Well, for those, tell, you, tell it again. I'll tell, tell it again for those of you who, who are unaware of the sock story. Back in college, uh, I had a roommate named Clint. Uh, Amber the Cupcake Feed said, Alf, Alf! Alf is our buddy. Yes. Alf is sitting there he right next to... watches over us. Yes. Right next to Pee Wee Herman. Actually, uh, thanks to Terry, Terry the Stoner for giving me that. I had an Alf doll forever and ever and ever, and um, it got lost in a move because I had an ex-girlfriend who was fucking crazy. And, uh, <laughs> Sounds like my life. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Terry the Stoner heard that uh, I... I had one and don't have one anymore and he just showed up the next day with one here you go <laughs> so he's a good guy but anyway um yeah so the the sock story right so i had this i had this uh roommate named clinton we decided for fun one day because this is what bored college kids do we would have a crusty sock contest for those of you women in the audience that means that we are you know jerking off into a sock you know, guys, typical college kid guys will do that from time to time <laughs> Uh, so we, we, we did this, right? And I, I, I took it seriously. Like I beat that thing. Like it was my goddamn job, right? I beat, I beat that motherfucker. Like it owed me money. Right. (laughs) So I ended up getting to the point where, you know, as, as it dries, it got crunchy. If you want to say, so I started like for fun, shaping it into a foot (laughs) so that it could sit on the table, like just upright. Um, I won. (laughs) <laughs> Needless to say, I, I, I won. Your mom didn't do your laundry. No, no, no. I was living on my own with a roommate yeah, in this college. Is, this is when he jerked off into a sock too much. He actually molded it. Into yeah, I molded foot. it into a foot. Greg saw it. He, he can tell you. <laughs> Greg's like, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. I told this story was uh, uh, I told this story on air when Jay was uh, with O and A with corn. It was epic. Yes, he did. I was on the Opie and Anthony show years ago. Uh, I won tickets to see corn perform live. Not that I wanted to see corn, but I wanted to see Opie and Anthony. Uh, my my <laughs> wife wanted to see corn, so it all worked out. But anyway, uh, yeah. So he called this asshole here calls in and tells them the story. Jonathan Davis goes, hey, "When I see him again, I'm gonna have to ask him about that." <laughs> he did not. Although I will say, here's another funny story. After this is all over, right? I'm not a big fan of corn. My wife is. Uh, she just wants. I to, prefer broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> she just wants to take a picture with Jonathan Davis. Something fierce. So we do, and she comes over and she takes her little, and I take the picture, right? And uh, then Jonathan, being a super, super cool guy, and he really is, as much as I don't care for their music, he's a super nice guy, one of the nicest guys I ever met. He goes, hey, do you want a picture too? I'm like, nah, man, I'm good. Yeah, he told fucking Jonathan Davis basically, fuck you, your music sucks. <laughs> Where he should have just been dying, like, okay. I should have just gone, yeah, yeah, I'll take a picture. He's like, hey, you want a picture too? No, I'm good. <laughs> uh, I still feel like an ass. And if I ever, if I saw. He was <laughs> raped by his father. His father <laughs> raped him. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, no. <laughs> no, fuck you. Your music's terrible. Oh, I don't man. want it. You know, and the worst part about the whole thing is, you know, I, I realized after the show was over, but I just like, oh, my God. What did I do? That was a dick move. I know. That's so like, it was the most unpolite thing on the face of the goddamn planet. 
Oh man. Okay, um, uh, Amber the Cupcake Feed is saying so much great shit in the chat, and I'm I'm like telling a story, so I'm not reading it. Uh, but you guys have got to see this. It's great. Uh, West Texas is actually. I think he's he said he's got a stalker. So so see, we're bringing people together. Yeah, yeah uh, West Texas is pretty good too. Um, we we bring people together. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's West Texas too. They're both like vaping buttermilk pie here. Says Amber. Uh, I don't know if that's a flavor or whether you're just doing some shit that we haven't figured uh, out how yeah. to do yet. If, if you're being serious, I'm actually vaping nerds. Um, I'm vaping homemade menthol. Yeah, like I was in California when I bought this, and people were like, dude, oh. you, how long have you been smoking? And I'm like, eh, I don't know, like fucking 30 years or some shit. And they're like, you need to quit. So we went to this vape shop, and I bought everything. And I was just joking around. They're like, what flavor do you want? I was like, do you have nerds? And they were like, yeah. And so I'm smoking nerds flavor, and it's fucking delicious. <laughs> I love it. I'm not. I'm still not used to vaping it, and I still smoke cigarettes. But it's. I'm down from about a two pack. You just need down to, to do what pack. I did and just throw all your cigarettes shit away. I still and like a cigarette every once in a while, man. Especially like you always. Sex. W- you always will. I know. But if you just throw it away <sighs> and don't have it here, you'll be uh, fine. But a cigarette after sex or a big shit. <laughs> uh, when I take a massive shit that makes your leg shake. Uh, when you have a cigarette afterwards, it's fucking glorious. I love it. Well, I. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, the the takeaway from that whole cord story is if I ever happen to see Jonathan Davis or if I become a minor celebrity and get an opportunity for him to care who I am, I'm going to apologize even though he does not remember me, I guarantee it. <laughs> Although, you know what? It'd he, be funny if you told him the story. He'd probably be like, ah, oh, okay. You know what? He probably would be. A, he is emotionally crippled enough. He probably would be like, I thought about that for weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know. He'd Guys, probably... you don't even understand. I was up for weeks over that. No, it would probably like help him. Like He'd be like, he'd be like <laughs> I was so disappointed distraught by that but it wasn't as bad as my dad raping me so it helped me <laughs> hey daddy uh shit during sex and be more efficient west texas says yeah but see every time you do that to a woman they act surprised for some reason <laughs> i just i don't get it i just i really don't get it I, i'd rather just um cu- like punch him in the face wipe the blood off come in my hand spider-man him <laughs> just flick it right in their face I, that's my personal best. Or the dirty Why aren't you? Uh, how are you not married yet? I don't know. <laughs> Girls, he's single. I'm normal. I'm normal. It's just women are fucked up. <laughs> yeah, okay. The women are fucked up. You just talked about punching her in the face. No, my God. <laughs> anyway, so hello to Jim's Mams, uh, Jim's who just ma'am. popped in. Thank you. And you're saying, oh, my, uh, already? Yeah, Casey. Casey's something else yeah i'm uh, <laughs> uh, sorry that's that's your first uh <laughs> hey uh i want to talk about one i know we're like getting over time but i don't give a crap i want to say about this anyway yeah, go ahead, man. uh i saw <laughs> you could never expect that coming yeah, see, see? i saw today, i think it's romantic <laughs> uh do any of you guys out there uh use cody i'm a big cody guy i used it before it started getting popular because i'm a goddamn hipster apparently uh so i use cody for my television watching i use it as my cable box and shit like that so, um, uh, I, I've been seeing all these things lately about the whole big, oh, excuse me, piracy crackdown that they're, they're doing on Cody. I saw this headline and I didn't even read the story, but I had to just see the headline and, and it was enough. Cody box danger, big bright letters, danger will rob you. illegal streaming devices could kill you. What? Experts warn. What? what? Now I did not read this story. I just. I saved it because that thing. Oh, so Jesus. anything to fucking get people. No one's gonna stop pirating. Let's like, ju- let's just enjoy this together for a moment, <laughs> shall we? Jeez. Let's let's just enjoy this together. Okay. Uh, those who own so-called Cody boxes could be putting their lives at risk. A new report is warned. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so it's explaining what Cody is. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I just figured out who is Jay and who is Casey. You, you mean the, the, the words down there? <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. All right, so anyway, I, I guess the reason for here says uh, the UK's uh, electrical safety experts uh, are, are explaining that these things can be fire risks because what? they plug into a wall. They are stretching it, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. How can we stop piracy? Let's threaten people with their lies by fire. All right, so let's see here. New research from the electrical... Yeah, well, yeah, when Cody becomes self-aware, you're all fucked. Yeah, I'll give you that, but... New research from the electrical safety first, the UK's electrical safety experts. In fact, the UK's leading intellectual property protection organization has demonstrated the risk posed by these illicit screaming devices. My God. 
Researchers conducted a series of product safety tests on a number of popular Cody-style streaming boxes and found 100% failed to meet national electrical safety regulations. Really? See, I like it how they go into, like, the whole, oh, you download shit or you pirate shit, you could die, and then it comes to, the, like, it's just the fucking brand that does but it. But it's, like, 100% <clears throat> didn't feed. What, yeah. are, what are you drinking, Duff? <laughs> you are not the first person to ask us that. We are drinking Victory Homegrown American Lager. Yeah, West Texas. I don't know if you came in during the beginning of the show, but uh, usually we introduce ourselves and everything like that, and then we have a beer of the week every uh, week, and yeah. we pick something, we rate it. And uh, So if you like beer, uh, we do one every week. Uh, yeah, we, we try to do like the regular guy beer review of craft beer because we're not beer snobs. Yeah, we're, we're not, not these snobs. guys. Like, we've never uh, never described something as having, well, it's got a citrusy bouquet from the, from, from, from the Cascade hops. Like, and, uh, it's like, it tastes pretty good. Spidey, I came for the beer. Well, I just came. Well, we came. came in the beer. <laughs> <laughs> I have moonshine. Well, good for you. Share, bitch. That's because you're a drug addict, Greg. <laughs> uh, they never let me taste the beer. That's because they throw you in prison. Yes, and exactly. we don't want you in prison because it wouldn't make for a very interesting show. Although you may new, learn new skills to make for another show. Yeah, that went that went fast. That was a fast hour for some reason. Yeah, we're it? actually way over. Yeah, was that a fast hour? Uh, yeah, we we got into it. It was fun. Yeah, it was well, fun. It was, was a fun. fun episode. Let me plug some shit. I drink we'll... vaginal secretions. Oh, dude, lovely, that, that, dude. My favorite thing is fucking taking a line of period blood, and just snorting the fuck out of it. Wakes me up in the morning. You know what's great? You ever, <laughs> you ever date a squirter? Oh yes. And do you ever do you ever go down on a squirter? Oh yes. And you know what? It, it, it would sound gross, but when it when it happens and it just floods you. Oh yeah, oh, that's I, great. I, I, dude, like well, you're almost drowning, but fuck it. I, yeah, they were like so upset. They're like, I ruined your couch, and I'm like, dude, that was amazing. Like I felt like I was at like on the Maid of the Mist at Niagara Falls, <laughs> and I just forgot my poncho. It was amazing. I've had two squirters in my life. And you know my room, my room smelled like hot dogs for six months. But <laughs> I just, it was, it was amazing. It got, it got my manly, if whatever you want to call it, going. But I was like, <laughs> I made a girl piss all over my face. West Texas <laughs> says, yeah, but I had to say, mom, quit pissing on me. <laughs> all right, guys, let me plug some shit, then we'll get out of here. You can find us on uh, Twitter. Uh, at Hostile Opinions, you can find us on Periscope, obviously, but for those of you who are listening to the audio-only portion of this podcast, uh, you should definitely check us out. It's pos- or, uh, periscope.tv slash Hostile Opinions. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We are available on Google+. Google Plus. We are available on Facebook. Uh, be sure to check out gimmeradio.com, G-I-M-M-E radio.com. Uh, if you like what we do and you want to support us and help us keep doing it, you become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. It, for as little as a dollar a we, uh, an episode, you can become one of our patrons and you can get exclusive content that we only put out for the patrons. And it's been really cool. We've had a lot of fun with it. That has been cool lately. Uh, we would, we would love for y'all to all see it, but you gotta help us out here because we need equipment. Uh, also, if you want to buy some cool shit like uh, t-shirts and hats and stuff like that, it is, <laughs> It is uh, openlyhostileopinions.com. You can hit the shop link and buy whatever you need. And West Texas says, I think I'd rather fuck Jay in the ass, not Casey, but I'm indecisive, I think. Uh, I'm a fat guy, so I sweat back air, so it's usually pretty well lubricated. That With hurts that- my feelings because I was going to jerk off to you tonight, <laughs> but not anymore, West well, Texas. That- not anymore, buddy. You that's all. It. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Later on. Peace. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. <laughs> We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you... Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.